the show, so get fucking up. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up. I ain't never giving up. No, I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you. Hello all and welcome back. I'm the FPL Penguin. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I'd like to wish you all in advance um, a happy new year. This will be my final video of 2019 before we head into 2020. And um, you know, I've enjoyed this this year. I have and it's, uh, it's been fun. It, this year is mainly when the uh, FPL Penguin mainly uh, you know kicked off. It was born. Um, it was actually born a year ago in uh, 2018 but I'd say officially uh, you know kicked off and got itself out there in 2019 so I'm very grateful for all the followers and subscribers I've, I've got and you know here's the 2020 so happy new year guys let's get straight into the video so here is my game week 21 preview yes the wild card is active it's been activated the second wild card um, this is going to be interesting so this is my team um, it's kind of locked in. I've messed around with it a bit, uh, but I have, I have, I've, I've hit it. I've hit it. I've hit the uh, wild cards, and uh, hell, we'll see, uh, see how this goes. I'm looking at fixtures, form, just, uh, just seeing where I want to go with this team. I really do. So as you can see, I've kept the, uh, the big, big players, the likes of Trent, KDB. Mane, Vardy, um, I did take Vardy out but brought him back in, I didn't have him because I knew, I knew he wasn't going to play against uh, West Ham, so that's who I took him out for, for Rashford, for my game week 20 team, so I'm just, I'm st probably still going to mess around with it, so it's not officially locked in yet, but this is what I'm kind of going for in the uh, team with Lysa Guata. Uh, Trent, going for a like, strong back line. Guata, I know Norwich is still going to be tough, but Palace are quite tough to score against, and he does save quite a few shots, uh, Guata. Uh, Trent and Rob at the back, you know, it takes one, one goal from Sheffield United in the clean sheet. Gone. That's what I was worried about with Wolves uh, yesterday. I was really worried about that. Go through in the end, though. Um, but I'd like to have. Trent and Robertson though. I heard there's um, been announced a double game week for Liverpool playing Wolves and West Ham away. Game week 24, if, uh, if I'm correct. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, game week 24. So we're playing on um, Thursday, the 23rd of January, and then Wednesday, 29th of January. Uh, both night games. So that's going to be interesting. Um, going to be tough, but especially the Wolves one away. And, you know... I'm looking forward to that, so I think, you know, have the likes of Robbo, Trent, and Marnie, and I am thinking of probably ditching um, a low ball defender and getting in Salah and Marnie in that midfield, having Salah and Marnie in that midfield, but we'll see how that goes. Keep in line to the Saiko, Saicho, you know, however you pronounce his name, he's a fantastic defender. He's got some pretty decent fixtures coming up. Um... KDB, you got to keep KDB. He's kind of putting him in an attacking role. Pep, he got, was it a goal and an assist? Yes, yeah, a goal and assist yesterday. Against Sheffield United. He's got some decent fixtures coming up as well, KDB. With the likes of Everton, Aston Villa, Crystal Palace, Sheffield United away. Um, Tottenham away, West Ham at home. you got to keep KDB. He's a season keeper. He is. He's a season keeper. And, you know, City... 14 points behind Liverpool. <laughs> I mean, come on, can we just talk about this? What the hell has happened to Man City? What the hell's happened to Man City? I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. But anyway, this is not about them. This is about my fancy team. <laughs> um, seven goals and 14 assists for KDB. Um... So yeah, he's, he's one to keep. He's one to keep because he's just absolutely amazing. If you look at his past stats from previous seasons, but look at the seasons like his best seasons for Man City. So the likes of 2016-17 season, he scored six goals and, and assisted 21 goals. And in 2017-18 season, he scored eight goals 
assisted 18. And 2018-19, he only got two goals, three assists. That's only because he didn't get many minutes. He had he had a big injury. I think he had two injuries last season, which ruled him out. And then when he came back, he was on the bench, start on the bench. So that was a problem. But look at him now. He got seven goals, 14 assists. Is he a season keeper? You've got to have him. And his price is only going to keep rising. He's nearly 50%. He's 49.5% owned. Nearly half. It's around about, we've got over 7 million players at the minute, so like, we're going to like 3.5, 3.6, 3.7 million people have got him, something like that. Yeah, I, uh, I've i got likes to try in as well because Watford away, it's going to be still a tough game, but try is just an absolute beast. He's an absolute beast, try -away. Um I didn't expect him to be this good from the start of the season. Um, but I'm very surprised. He really does look like a very, very good player. 5.5 seems a reasonable, you know, at the moment price for him. And I think it's a very good price. So I'll bring him in. 12.2. Got some good fixtures. Watford away, Newcastle home, Southampton away. He's got us at home as well in game week 24 in that double game week. So he could possibly score against us in that game. So I do think getting Trier in... Um, you know, Jimenez as well. But if you can't afford Jimenez or you're not sure about Jimenez, get someone cheaper, get someone who, you know, is a bit more involved in the game with uh, Traore. He's uh, he's an absolute beast. If I was a defender, I'd be very nervous playing against him. I would. He's uh, very fast, very skillful, very strong. So um, do think about getting Traore in. I think you've got to keep the likes of uh, Madison. Madison, Madison, Madison and Vardy. In the team because Leicester got some decent fixtures coming up. Madison taking set pieces. Uh, I've had him for quite a bit of um, this season for quite a few game weeks. He's uh, do I say he's a season keeper? Uh, I think with the way Leicester playing is set pieces. I think he's you know how I many he's got five goals, five assists at the minute. Uh, I think he has. Just double check. But he's uh, he's definitely one I would recommend. Bring it in because he's about how much is he? 7.7. 7. Um, you know, quite ex quite expensive. Someone, you know, with those stats, lowly stats at the minute, but he's only taking set pieces and stuff. Uh can push himself forward to score a goal and assist. But uh I do recommend bringing him in. He's got some good fixtures coming up. Marnie's in there as well. Front three, Calvert Lewin. Calvert Lewin, you know what my little plan is? I'm going to say to you now, you've heard it here first. I'm thinking of, because I've noticed, if I'm correct, uh, well, Calvert Lewin after Man City game, it's fixtures Brighton, West Ham, Newcastle, Watford, Crystal Palace, and then they get a bit more tougher. Then around that time, uh, Danny Ings's fixtures get a lot more better. Um, so, what my little plan is, is to um, have Calvert Lewin. He could possibly score against Man City away. I do think uh, when those fixtures are over, get around game week 26, Danny Ings' fixtures get a bit more better, a lot more better, I should I say. So I do, so I'm thinking about making a swap around about then, around about that time. And 20, game week 20, uh, and he said 2020 there. <laughs> um, but game week 20, let's have a look at that. 68 points, starts off a bit rocky uh, for a hell of a lot of managers uh, this game week just gone. Um, but the Penguin still keeping that momentum going. Currently at uh, 39k after game week 20 is now finished. I was at 49k. So I've gone up by 10k, so I'm absolutely buzzing. Um, keeping that momentum, staying in that five digit uh, rank, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, as you can see, uh, my team, um, Trent, did well. He got some bonus points. Uh, it all it all kicked off when the likes of Soy, Soy Sayucho, Sayucho, Madison, and Vardy. Uh, well, the two of them were bench. One of them wasn't playing because. Also, congratulations, to Jamie Vardy and his wife, uh, new baby. I'm glad I captain Rashford. Well, I'm glad I got the captain right. I don't know if I'm glad I'm captain Rashford because Marnie got more points in the end. As you may have seen my last video, I captain Marnie. Um, I would have been better off just staying with Marnie by the looks of it. He picked up 11 points, but would have got 22 if I captained him. 
Um, but yeah, it, it was it was a weird game week. I was worried I was going to get a red hour. I really was, but I think the likes of Captain Rashford having Marnie in, De Bruyne, clean sheet for Trent. It really did help me too. And also a goal by Tammy as well. I thought, you know, you're leaving it late, lads. Rashford scores in the 95th minute. Leaving it late, man. And then Tammy scores 87th minute for Chelsea. God, what's with these late goals? But anyway, I'm happy. <laughs> I've got the points. Seven points for Tammy. Um, eight points, or nine points, should I say. Nine points for Rashford. And double that's 18. So... I'm over the moon with that. Uh, Ali blanked. There was some doubts if he was going to play or not, but you know he played. Uh, didn't do anything. Norwich proved to be a test once again. They're playing a lot more better now. Zimmerman's back. Things happening. Um, Grealish blanked as expected. Uh, I expected Watford to really go at them, and they did. Deeney. I nearly brought in Troy Deeney. I nearly brought in Troy Deeney. But you know, make mistakes. It would have mean it would have meant me taking a hit, because I would already um, brought in. Who did I bring in? Who did I bring in? I have no idea who I, I can't believe, I remember who I brought in now. Oh, Rashford. It was Rashford, wasn't it? <laughs> I think all these game weeks coming out of nowhere. I'm just can't wait till this Christmas period. That you know, the plus New Year. This month is over. Because we've had so many game weeks. Was it five, six, seven game weeks crammed from the end of November to like the New Year's Day? Coming out of nowhere. I mean, I'm exhausted. I really am exhausted with all these game weeks. So I, uh, I really can't wait till uh, this, uh, <laughs> this finishes. So then we get the break. We get the FA Cup. Uh, that's something to look forward to. And the FA Cup shocks. Um, but yeah. That's my team. That's my team. So if you enjoyed this video, this is going to be the last video of 2019. I'll see you in 2020. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I've been the Penguin. And thank you all for subscribing. Any new subscribers? And to the ones who've been following me on Instagram, Twitter, and subscribed to my channel the longest, thank you. It really does mean a lot. And here's to 2020. Happy New Year, guys. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up. I never give it up. No, I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you.